Hey Cancer, welcome to my channel. This is Sage the Intuitive and I am here to do a reading for your sign. We're going to see what is going on in your connections, what's going on in life, and um, get some messages from there. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and certainly leave a comment. So it's some overall energy for the sign of Cancer, please. What is Cancer dealing with right now? suppression so quite a few um signs got this card as a um overall energy and we also have the mind here um feeling trapped feeling like you can't do the things that you want to do um not getting full clarity feeling like you're in some type of darkness especially around love and romance um, for some can't get out of your mind that's what's kind of keeping you stuck and stagnant in some ways not really figuring out what to do next because you just it's just too much going on in your mental state to really put forth the effort into something more um, than this feeling tied and bound um, for many of you that you just you can't move and you cannot figure out what to do next the thing is, you are wanting companionship. You are wanting love. You're wanting relationships. You're wanting a deep connection. You're wanting a deep friendship here. Um, someone that can be your lover and your friend. Um, but it's also about you making the choice to embrace what what's happening in your life regardless of how you feel about it and moving forward or just staying stuck in your mind but many of you are are desiring some type of deep intimate connections what else do we have to know what we need to know for cancer please yeah many of you are wanting romance you are um wanting someone to flirt with you are wanting to basically be swept off your feet you want to fall in love here with the knight of cups um someone that could um, make you believe in love again that's what i just heard um someone who can literally make your heart flutter this card i believe says that as well um you want to believe in love again but it's it's been very difficult because some things in the past have made you thought otherwise you've thought that um you know maybe your past relationships may have been strained you could be revisiting old scenes from your life right things that didn't quite work out um some of you could be romanticizing the past uh cause continuing to think about it when those those things that were like really good like you want it just that way just the way it happened at that particular time but that might not be helping you some of you are focusing a lot on the negative we already started out with suppression of the mind so you, you're spending a lot of time focusing on what may not work out for you um maybe not even forgiving people who've done things to you at some point that um you feel like you deserve some type of apology um from some of you are trying to look at the bigger picture trying to find like a blessing in disguise and and the things that you've gone through in life but it's still uh very difficult and heavy on your heart you're trying to protect yourself at all costs here and uh, which is, you know, it's good to be protective of yourself, but I believe that some of you are protective of yourself to the point where it's stopping your growth and your progression when it comes to romance and when it comes to love. You're wanting justice when it comes to your to your life right now. You want things to go in your favor. You feel that you have deserved um, for things to be more positive. You've lived like uh, for many of you feel like you lived a positive life and you're like, you know, I want things to go in my direction here you go here you are right here cancer with the chariot card this is your card know that there are things that are going to change right now there there is trying to be there's trying to there's some movement that's trying to happen for you but you have to make the choice to um 
be confident enough and ambitious enough to, enough to move forward there are potentially partnerships with people that are in your life that potentially could be loving um relationships but i feel that some of you are not seeing it that way because you're so much Focus on the past so caught up in your head and how things are going and how things are not going for you that it is causing you this mental um, turmoil your mind is almost like it's playing tricks on you in a way um, cancer what else yeah you're needing to have more faith that things and things are going to turn out the way that you want them to turn out. Uh, for many of you, what what you want wants you. So there is there is a situation where this could be a dream come true. You're just not seeing the positive um, in things right now, and there is some light at the end of the tunnel. You have the star and the sun card here, and you know the happiest cards in the deck, really, right? There's joy and success coming for you. You need to be more gracious to the universe and the divine for even if things seemed like they weren't working out, um, just being more gracious to the lessons that you've learned. Um, some of you are just unwilling to see past the things of the past. And I don't mean to laugh, but it's the same message coming over and over again. Um, needing to follow your heart rather, rather than following um you know being in your ego following your mind right some of you are even pretending that there is no problem when there is when you're literally over analyzing the situation you're sitting in this hermit energy where you're trying to find some answers here trying to get light onto what's happening for some of you this is really good you're going through this period of self-discovery trying to um um, get more clarity you could be dealing with the Virgo here um, for some of you but really trying to get um, more clarity and and um, direction on what you should be doing next some of you are attracted to a fire sign or someone in your life is has like this very fiery energy very beautiful um, confident individual um, could be very intelligent and and also independent and this person really likes you and they they like you how you like them but you're still not seeing um seeing the the good in it because you're expecting them to um try to deceive you when at the end of the day what you don't see what's hidden from you is that there's victory here um in this situation so some of you are coming off as very uninterested. So it's like your deepest desire is that you want love and romance. However, you're acting very uninterested when people come and try to give you, um, try to give you some type of attention. What, still, what you're not seeing, there's victory and success here. There is a firm, um, stable connection. There's stability, security, family, things that you have been desiring here for you that you are potentially missing and you're missing it all because of your mindset. So let's see what else do we have for cancer. See, they're saying you're on the right path regarding some aspects of your life. So while you're struggling thinking things aren't moving forward is showing that you are completely on the right path you're just very stubborn here um and and some of you are unwilling to change right now because you're frustrated because there are lessons that are that you are needing to learn in your um life right now but you're having a hard time learning those lessons because you're focused on what is not working you focus on um things that you feel like aren't gonna come into fruition we have the june card this could be um, your birthday for some of you but um there there is something here i'm sorry june something in particular could have happened somebody's birthday could be in june right um here and um you could have met someone in june or between now and june there is going to be some um change so it's time for you to start planning ahead for these changes that are coming in with the kangaroo there's some changes that may um may shake you up but this is a general reading so take it as it resonates doesn't mean that it's every single person um 
be careful of people who could be trying to work against you just keep your eyes open but you've been in this hermit mode so you should be in a place where you could figure out what it what's you know what's right what's wrong um knowing what is good for you and what is not wow okay we're not going to take all of that let's see what else we have final messages for cancer Some of you are definitely going to have to be careful of um, people who may try to deceive you. Use your discernment on what you have been learning because it's saying that someone may try to do something, make you do something that you don't want to do. And knowing that things are not always going to be this way, that a change is coming. But some of you feel like there is no um, change in sight, but this is saying um, change is coming. Let's see if we can get a final message. Some of you have um, some change coming in your career. There could be an acceleration um, in your career coming here. And um, knowing that you may be getting some type of up level with this honesty and respect that will be coming to you. So some of you may be getting a different job or a promotion here. And um, some of you really are needing to take a vacation. So take that to heart. If you know that um, you have been working entirely too hard, maybe it's time for you to take a little bit of time off. But I think that your main message here is that your mindset is more so causing this um, anguish for you than what is actually here. You've learned a lot of lessons and I don't think you've realized that you have and you're dismissing the connections that are coming for you or even presented in, um, to you because you are concerned that they are here to stab you in the back opposed to seeing the good in it. So you're not even giving it a chance. So that is what I have for you, Cancer. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you soon. Take care.